Hallo liebe Leute and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so that you never miss a video. So maybe you've guessed from uh, the tower behind me but I am in Berlin, yeah, the Wernsehenturm uh, TV tower is right behind me right now. Um, so essentially we've come to um, Germany because uh, my boyfriend Alex got tickets for um, the game on the 2nd of July, the Turkey versus Austria game in, um, in Leipzig. We have to fly into Berlin anyway, and we've been talking about going to Berlin together, so it made sense. Yeah, a couple of nights in Berlin and then a couple of nights in Leipzig, so there'll be a Leipzig vlog coming as well, but you know, this, this vlog's going up first, and if you're watching this once the Leipzig vlog is up, we still watch this one first, and then, <laughs> Watch the Leipzig vlog. But yeah, we've just had our first curry verse of the trip of the trip um, from Curry 61, which I've heard is meant to be one of the best places in Berlin to get curry verse and it did have a queue, so you know it's usually a good sign and it was pretty good curry verse to be fair. Uh, been to Germany quite a few times and um, actually worked as an au pair in South Germany in 2018. So yeah, you know, I'm not exactly a curry verse connoisseur but I do know when curry verse is good or not, you know? Um, so yeah, we're gonna head off and explore now before um, checking into our hotel and just dropping our bags off. Um. After exploring Alexanderplatz, checking into our hotel and freshening up because it was extremely hot in Berlin on this day, we headed over to Potsdamerplatz to explore the Jewish Memorial and also the Brandenburg Gate, but the latter did not go to plan. Hello again everyone, so we've come out for dinner and of course as we're not in Germany for long we have to come and get German food so um, we found a place um, near the Jewish Memorial and the Grandberg Gate um, called Berliner Kinder and yeah we just saw the signs of the Deutsches Kusche and yeah that's, that's what we wanted, we wanted German kitchen, we wanted German food so yeah they do their own beer here and we've just ordered food so Alice, Alex ordered the mixed grill um, I believe and I ordered um, the Berliner Plata which comes with uh, Ankoivas I know I already had Ankoivas today but yeah it was included on the plate and I was debating between that and a schnitzel and it also had um, something oh my god what was it called Berliner Bouletta I think which I'd never heard of before it's called Berlin in the name so it's obviously like a dish that comes from Berlin, I'm assuming. Um, I Google it, it sounds not interesting, nice, I don't know. So well, I'll get that plate because it comes with that. And the other thing I was waiting getting was a shirt sort and it comes with a mini shirt sort. So I get that and a mini shirt sort. It just so happens it comes with curry verse as well, but it was only one year or more than having the shirt sort. So it makes sense. But yeah, I'm gonna drink our beers whilst we wait for our food. So, first. Evening, everyone. So we are now at a rooftop bar. Um, so this is the Barry restaurant, but it's on top of the Humboldt Forum. So actually, when I've seen people recommend this place, they've recommended it as Humboldt Forum. But when I went on the Humboldt Forum's website, it said if you wanted to come here, you needed to reserve a table directly on the restaurant, um, Barry restaurant um, website. So just got a drink. So Alex got a beer and I decided to get a cocktail. I was waiting for a cocktail or an um, aperitif. Bought a cocktail first. First night of the trip, and then if I want another drink later, aperitif. So, um, anyway, oh, I literally just dropped a little stick on top of the berries, um, the blueberries into my drink. Whoops, I have a, a really sunset. Um, haven't tried it yet. Mm. That's very nice. Can definitely taste the um, the lemon 
also the ginger. It's got like a lemon liqueur. No, it's got a camera. I don't actually know what to be honest. I just all it. It's a um, and <laughs> uh, ginger liqueur. So, yeah, it's been really nice. Um, there are amazing reviews in there because right in the, um, in the museum and so I haven't actually explored like the whole surrounding. Yeah, I was waiting for my drink to come because then of course I was gonna go up and get a picture of me and one of my drink with the views of it around me. Obviously, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> to Schloss Charlottenburg, a beautiful palace originally built for Sophie Charlotte, the Queen of Prussia. However, she did not live to see it finished. Everyone, um, so since we last spoke, um, we headed to the Brandenburg Gate um, because we couldn't go yesterday evening despite being in the area because um, it is where the fan park is so it's obviously closed off um, to tourists while yeah there's games going on and people are in the fan park and <laughs> wouldn't be able to get a very good picture with the gate anyway would you if yeah everyone's there crowding around to watch um, the football um, so yeah I went to the Brandenburg gate tried to go to the Tiergarten so um, which is this big Park, so not to be confused with a zoo because Tiergarten also translates from German to English as zoo. I think this is out of focus. One moment. Okay. Hopefully it stays in focus this time. Maybe it doesn't like that I use my hand so much in front of the camera. Yeah, basically tried to go to the Tiergarten, go around the Reichstag, which again is currently used for like a football fan zone <laughs> um, and is the German parliament building. But um, yeah, the tear garden just seemed to be closed off. Like we walked for a while to where my maps was telling me that we could enter, but it was just like closed off. So we gave up and came back to the hotel um, to get ready to go out in the evening. But yesterday we went to the Ritter Sport um, shop. The uh, Buntersfeld, Ritter Sport Buntersfeld, or, or, I think that's what it's called. I can't remember, but basically, this isn't just any old chocolate shop because um, one, you can do a chocolate workshop, which you have to book in advance, and we did not do. I couldn't e actually find any information on their website about how to book. I could just find information on their website about what the class was about, which was, yeah, basically. But maybe it would have been in German anyway because I don't think I noticed the option to read the website in uh, English. I don't know. But you can still take part in creating your own chocolate even if you don't go to the workshop. You can just go use the machines, select what you want in your chocolate bar and then in 50 minutes time you have your chocolate. So here's Meine Creation. I, Meine Creation. I think I pronounced it a bit better that time. Ich kann Deutsch, aber ich habe einen französischen Akzent. So that's what I've been told. I know I'm British, but yeah, that's what I've been told. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna taste test um, my creation now, which um, is milk chocolate. Obviously you had the options, the choice of, you know, all of the different types of chocolates really. Your, st well, your standard <laughs> milk white dark, um, but this is mine, um, you see. Mine says it's got raspberry, shortbread, and Smarties. Okay. Oh, they put the ingredients in English, even though I swear I created mine in German. I didn't select the English option. They just knew. They just knew that I'm English. <laughs> so, yeah, let's taste test this. And... Costs a lot for a small bar. Like this was six euro forty nine, I believe, for the small bar. But then they are making it for you, so they have to have you know, it is going to be more expensive, isn't it? 
and they can charge they but not all together. They have to have someone there ready um, to make the chocolates. And they had loads of different options. I think Alex got um, milk chocolate, raspberry, strawberry, and popcorn candy. Oh, it's already melting in my hands. Mm. Mm -hmm. It smacked. Super lecker. Mm. That's the raspberry for me. I love raspberry things, so as soon as I saw raspberry was an option, I'm like, yeah. Um, that's going in. It's like proper little chunks. Of raspberry as well. I've got my chunks of smarty in there. And my shortbread. I don't know why I got smarty. I was debating between smarty and popping candy, but I probably should have got popping candy, but I was like, do I want the taste of popping candy? Because I feel like smarty only really makes a difference if you have it in white chocolate. Like white chocolate, and then you've got little pieces of milk chocolate with the sugary shell. I've I feel like, you know, you don't really necessarily notice it's there, but it's a him back. So, yeah, had to have raspberries in mine, and I had to go with the classic milk. But I did buy other chocolate, <laughs> Ritter Sport chocolate bars whilst I was in the shop, but didn't create my, more of my own, because obviously, you know, that becomes super, super expensive. I got one with, like, a kind of berry yoghurt feeling, like, I think raspberry one half, and, like, black hair in the other half which I've never seen before and to be fair it's the same noy on it so it means new excited to try that at some point but yeah I realize I've been rambling on now so I'm gonna go and yeah once Alex is ready we're gonna head back into town um hopefully I'm hoping we'll have time to go to the east side gallery before we need to go um, to the boat tour but also we didn't know when I booked the boat tour that England were going to be playing today because obviously you don't know who's going to like make it through um, different stages of the Euros so Alex really wants to watch the Euros but it starts at like 6 and our boat tour is at like 7.30 and we need to be there 15 minutes early so we're definitely going to miss <laughs> some of the England match um, so yeah we also need to find somewhere to sit and have a drink so we can watch the match somewhere that's showing the match that's also close to um where the boat tour starts <laughs> that this catamaran was powered completely by solar energy i just love that there are sustainable options like that for tourists in berlin and i hope to see this more and more for tourists in other cities and destinations maybe i'm just geeking out a bit because i work on a solar event in my day-to-day -day job but yeah i think sustainability within tourism is really important and the next day we didn't have much time so we just went to the ddm museum so the east german museum and then grabbed some lunch before heading to the airport um i did forget to film an outro to this vlog so please forgive me and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it really helps me out and subscribe to see my future travel vlogs hope to see you in the next video bye